once again good morning good afternoon and good evening so for today i i brought back the galaxy note 10 plus because i have the galaxy note 10 plus this is global variant and uh, having exynos chipset this is not a snapdragon and uh, from the icons you will know that uh, i got the one ui 7 ported rom on my mobile phone model number is n975 public ds galaxy note 10 plus and this is the one ui 7 and white 15 the google play system is got updated first june 2025 and if you can see the build number i got eternity rom version 5.2 now the developer released the version 5.3 with have some changes and the developer also said that you need to flash the version 5.3 from the scratch like neat and clean flashing requires to get a good result from the one ui 7 ported rom eternity rom version 5.3 <music> Well, I got the data and I have saved all my data already. So if you have a data, you need to save it. Otherwise, the data will get formatted. Now, if you want to flash the ROM, let me show how to flash it. So this is my folder where I have saved all the versions and all the files. Uh, if you can see that I got Eternity ROM version 5.0, 5.2 and the latest one 5.3 and the code name is b2s which is uh, of the galaxy note 10 plus exynos model yes we have to download the odin pack twrp odin pack according to the model number and yes we have to download the cleaner file version 3 and the repartition files also version 3 you need to read my video description i have provided all the information that uh, provided by the developer smoother faster and lighter read the description to get know what changes are coming with the version 5.3 now let's start the flushing procedure let me tell you once again download the 3.14.1 the odin the repartition file version 3 the cleaner file version 3 eternity rom version 5.3 according to the model like uh, my model is uh, galaxy note 10 plus global so uh, the code name is d2s you need to check the code name of your model then accordingly download the rom and the twrp odin pack which must be accordingly to the model number right then extract the odin 3.14.1 in same folder right then open the extracted folder of the odin and double click the odin click ok on this pop-up window and on odin you can click any slot i will go for ap slot then i will go to my downloaded folder and i will double click to select the eternity rom 3.0 twrp odin pack double click to select the twrp file coming back towards the mobile phone first of all you need to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged if the battery is below 30 percent make it charge then you need to save all the internal storage data otherwise the data will get formatted and uh, your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked in case if you are having a custom rom the bootloader will be unlocked in case if you are flashing the rom for the first time if you have the stock of firmware you need to unlock the bootloader then you can flash the rest file so going to the accounts and backup and then manage accounts definitely you must be using samsung account must remove the account to avoid issues flashing the custom recovery after signing out from the samsung account then must uh, sync your gmail account and then remove it to avoid issues later on then going to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe so i want to inform one thing that my mobile phone currently having a custom rom so it is ready to get the another custom rom in case if your mobile phone is having a stock firmware or uh, having a lock bootloader then you need to unlock the bootloader and also you need to check the kg state on the odin mode screen must show checking i have done all these things i can simply power off the mobile phone always use a good quality of data cable for flashing now we have to boot the phone into odin mode make sure that mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume up key volume down key 
then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, a warning screen will get appears, then release both keys. Then press the volume up key once to boot the phone into audio mode. So this is my audio mode screen, which you can see that the KG state showing checking, which means that the recovery will get flash without issues. On the computer screen, I have already installed the Samsung Android USB driver on Windows. So the Odin already detected my mobile phone. On the Odin, click options, untick the auto reboot, go back to lock, then click start to start flashing the custom recovery on the mobile phone. When you see pass message, succeed it one, which means that recovery got flash. Click reset, click exit, go back to the downloaded folder. The mobile phone must be booted into Odin mode because I untick the auto reboot. Now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode screen. Make sure do not disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Now press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All three keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Then wait. When mobile phone shows Samsung logo, then release the power key. Okay. Now wait for few seconds. Now you can release the volume up key. So the phone will boot into TWRP mode. Just wait for it. I got the team one recovery on my mobile phone. Now the time to format the data. When the recovery screen get appears on the mobile phone, tap Y, then tap Format Data, type Y, E, S, tap here. When done, go back to main screen, tap Reboot and tap Recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. The internal storage will appear on your uh, computer screen. Now go to the downloaded folder and copy the repartition file V3 from the computer downloaded folder and go to the internal storage of the mobile phone then paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone turn then on the mobile phone screen tap install select the repartition file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it the mobile phone will get automatically restart when this flashing turn swipe to allow modifications then tap wipe tap format data type y e s tap here when done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications once again the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen go to the downloaded folder and this time copy the cleaner file and the rom file eternity rom version 5.3 copy both files from the downloaded folder then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste both file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. Now we have to wait. The copying procedure will take a time. So both files got copied on my internal storage of the mobile phone. Right now I am done from the computer. Coming back towards the mobile phone. I will disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Then unlocking the custom recovery screen. Then tap install. First select the cleaner file by tapping on it then swipe so the flashing will get started and it will automatically restart the recovery or reboot the recovery when it is done swipe to allow modifications then tap settings go to the third menu and make the screen time out to maximum then go back to main screen tap install this time select the eternity rom version 5.3 by tapping on it and swipe to start flashing read that to avoid any issues please format data under wipe format data i have done already this press the volume up key once to start flashing it will take a time so we have to wait here so finally script got succeeded flashing done tap reboot system so the mobile phone will stay on this samsung logo for a while then it will start booting to the One UI 7 ported ROM, the Eternity ROM version 5.3. The first boot will take a time, so we have to wait here.
So the first boot completed, I will complete the setup screen. Finally, the flashing procedure got done smoothly and we got the kernel S2 next, which is updated. And uh, this is the new control center. Let me go to the settings, then going to the about phone. So the model number you can see is the correct one. N975F oblique DS Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, both I mean numbers present over here. We'll tap the software information. And I got one UI 7, Android 15. The Google Play system update is supposed to be update because currently it is showing first Fab 2025. Beastband version provided, kernel version provided. Build number if you can see now eternity rom version 5.3 things done very smoothly thanks for watching the video do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye